I mean, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Being an entrepreneur. Just because your staff don't turn up, it don't mean you don't turn up. Do you know what I mean? So that's why all the advice I give my entrepreneurial friends at our inner circle, you've got to be there. If you're not there, it just don't happen. And that's really good advice, isn't it? You see, it's not all about glamour, yeah? Because that's what is really important. You have to realise, sometimes you've got to get your hands in it. Make a difference, help the community. Is this what you envisioned when you uh, when you started the pub? Well, uh, cleaning toilets. I think uh, I'd be lying if I said yes, it was because you know obviously it's a bit of an extension of my home. Okay, so when I look at it in my particular business, my boys come in here, me regulars, and it's like using my toilets. Sometimes I leave a few presents that I don't necessarily want, but you know. Expectations. You have to meet them, don't you? Um, I found as well, with my marketing research, as long as I get a few alcoholics in, that's the bread and butter. It just keeps the pub going, you know? And uh, what I also found as well is, you hit a local IA meeting, give them a couple of flyers, and you're laughing. I feel a song coming on. Who fancy a little sing song? You fancy sing song, sweetheart? Not me, Oh, carry on, I bet you do. All together now. Oh, and maybe it's because I'm a Londoner that I love London, Dad. All together now. So, what's the biggest challenge of running your own gastro pub? Your own gastro pub? Oh, it's, the, it's definitely the sausages. Because I'm a Londoner, because I think about London, Dad. Because I love London, Dad. All together now. Maybe it's because I'm a Londoner that I love London town. Get off me, Baba.